Hello, everybody. Father Jim here. Hope you're doing well on this first day of May. Yes, it is that beautiful month of May already. And it is Wednesday, the middle of the week. Once again, I'm just going to be reading from our gospel today. And actually, it's a gospel that should be pretty recent in our minds since it was the gospel from this past Sunday as well. So it's John chapter 15, verses 1 through 8. As Jesus gives us another beautiful analogy and image of himself and our connection with him. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does, he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. And just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire, and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The picture that Jesus draws for us today in our gospel from St. John gives us a great visual image of the importance of staying connected to him at all times. We don't have to be a master gardener or a horticultural expert to understand his point. He is the vine in which we branches depend for life. That source of life is in his love that we are called upon as branches to extend to others through our own acts of love. The more acts of love we initiate, the stronger we as branches become. In one of her writings entitled The Dialogue, St. Catherine of Siena, whose feast day we celebrated this past Monday, relayed a message she received in a mystical encounter from God the Father as such. If you are attached to the vine, you will produce much fruit because you will share the vital sap of the vine. And being in the word, my son, you will be in me, for I am one with him and he with me. Well, it doesn't get much clearer than that. So how do we stay connected to Jesus? Well, we stay in communion with our trial and God through prayers and, of course, the sacramental life of the church. That is the vital sap of love necessary for us to spread his love everywhere we go. In his love, we can bear great fruit, but Jesus warns us that we can do nothing without him. If we do not remain in him, we will wither and die. We spend a great deal of time in our daily lives staying connected with others with the aid of technology. But let's spend even more time staying connected to Jesus glorifying the Father by being his disciples. And as I oftentimes will say it, let's keep staying connected to the Lord. And that's what daily prayer is. That's our daily lifeline. He's there giving us all that strength that we need. So let's keep praying for one another, but let's also make sure we're praying for ourselves, connected to the Lord. Hope your Wednesday is going well on this first day of May. Let's keep praying for one another. God bless you and take care.